My name is Christian. I'm going to be building a timber frame structure that's going to serve as a proof of concept for a house I'm planning on building in a few years. We're going to start with this, to this, to this, to this. Let's get started. This time we're going to be making the other half of the jo joint we made last time. Uh, this joint uh, goes, on, I decided to put on the shorter of the two sets of rafters and to put the tongue on the other set of rafters. Um, this is one I finished earlier. Um, I'm not sure if you can see any of the marking lines that are on here. I'll be going through that whole process in just a few minutes. I apologize for the wind. I'll try and uh, make up for that um, by, with, with volume. We'll see how well that works. So this one is, again, just the opposite of what I did last time. All the marking is pretty much the same. Um, I just don't have to saw down these cheeks. These just get split off. Um, so strike the center line, figure out where the uh, tongue is going to go, and uh, bring the measurements around to the other side. So without further ado, I'll move on to the next piece. So now I have to decide where exactly I want to put the tongue. I could put it right at the end. Uh, this one's been exposed and isn't exactly straight, so I want to move it back a little bit. I've got a knot right here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe right here. I've got a mark that's the bare minimum uh, this rafter can be. Um, any shorter than that, and it's not going to be as structurally sound as I'd like. So this is my cutoff. I've got a knot here, so I think I'm going to try and put it somewhere in here. Um, so. I think I'm going to start, well first I'm going to start by moving it off of this so I can strike this properly. So come to about here, and I also want this to be the top so I'll strike the line there. Bring this across, like so, and let's see, what do I want to do next? I'm going to put a center line down this, which I'm going to lay everything else off of. So I'm going to mark at two inches here, two inches here. And again, this lumber is not exactly square, so, and it's not two exact dimensions. So finding the center line can sometimes be a little bit non trivial. For some of the other parts, we'll go into a little bit more depth on this. For the rafters, it doesn't matter quite as much. Um, so now that I've got those marks, center, 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 and then line this up, like so, okay, so now I've got our center line, and we're going to want to lay out this. So this is just a simple little template to help figure out how well this stuff is supposed to lay out. And apparently this wood is wet enough because it's been sitting outside that I did not want to mark properly. There we go. And just to make sure the template is square. Like that. Like that. Okay. Before I go on, put X's on all the stuff I'm cutting off because I've almost made that mistake a few too many times. Carry this down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, although you can't quite see it. Okay. 
flipped over. Blink. And we're going to do the same thing. I may need to cut a uh, tune up to after this part's done just because there's some noise coming this way. But essentially it's the same thing we did on the other side. Mark the center, put the template on, strike the lines. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Next step is to take this piece off. That's kind of neat. Find a good piece of scrap to put under here. This wood is wet and the, saw, the set of this saw is not quite right, so I'm just going to flip this and finish from the other side. Too shabby. So it needs to be tuned up. But that's my fault. Alright. Happy enough with that. So now we're going to cut off the sides and split them off. This, the closer I can get to this line, the less finishing work I'll have to do later.
All that's left now is to split off each side. I think we're good. Oh, almost forgot a step. I need to mark down the front of this face here so I know where exactly to pair the pair to. It is early spring here and I'm not sure you can see all the bugs flying around me, but they're out in force this year, which makes this so much more fun. So, even though the grain and structure of wood looks pretty straight here, uh, it's, if anything, it's diving up into here. I could probably set this right on the line and give it a good whack. But I'm going to take a lighter pass first, just in case it does something I do, I, I'm not expecting. I'm going to take about half of this off first, and then work my way down to the line and finish pairing at the end. about what I expected. Do it a little bit in the center of this, so I want to watch out for that. And if you've seen this pre previous video, this part is so much more fun than doing the opposite part of this joint. So I'm going to come pretty close and see how well it does. I do have a chisel that's a little bit better suited for this, but I like this one better. I'm not really sure why. Getting pretty close here. Get out of here. It's looking all right. And especially for this, for this, you can use a smaller chisel to come all the way down, finish it up with a plane, or just leave it kind of rough because, again, this is a rafter, it's not the end of the world. But this is one of my favorite tools, it's a slick, and I can just come in, take a little bit off. And fortunately, don't stick your slick in the dirt, it's bad thing to do. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a clamp out here right now, so I'll just have to make sure this doesn't push itself off of the uh, work surface. We're going to come right down and just barely take off the line.
manufacturer and separate that every little bit. We take a little bit more on this side. And come back to the front. So I'm coming down either at or slightly below the line, because I want a fairly loose fit on this. Then I'm going to come back through and use what I know is a straight edge to see where I need to take off the last little bit here. Test to fit in a little bit. I got to do the other side. And same thing we did last time. The grain is diving down a little bit on this, so I'm going to want to be very careful. all the way down in the center here.
That should about do it. Hopefully, it's the right size. This is a little bit of a loose fit because the test piece wasn't quite dry when it worked and not worked on it, so it cracked, but still gives me a rough approximation. So I can tell you this part right here is a little bit thick on that, so I'll have to come back to that piece. Yeah, it's mostly just binding here, so it's a little bit here, a little bit there. Let's do the last little bit of key. Here we go. Alright, I think that's all for today. I've got to cut the rest of these down to size and get the joints on. And uh, got to come back with the uh, next set of joinery probably another week or so. See you then.